Dear colleagues, we will present a case of bilateral zero volt after toric ICL implantation. You are welcome to subscribe to our channel, presenting cases of refractive and ocular surgery and complication management. This case is an implantation of toric ICLs with white to white of 11 mm. On the right eye was 12.1 mm implanted, volt was a bit too low, so on the other eye was one step higher. Uh, lens size implanted. Unfortunately, both eyes had a zero volt afterwards. As you can see here on the OCTs, the ICLs actually touched the crystalline lens in both eyes and it persisted for two months. This is the lens calculation with white to white from the Pentacam and uh, the recommended size of 12.1 meters and still volt was zero. So we decided to go for one step higher as 13.2 millimeter. And after a successful exchange, the volt was 353. And we went on to do the same on the right eye. Here we jumped two steps higher from 12.1 to 13.2 millimeter. I will show you the ICL exchange technique. First, uh, do, uh, through a paracentesa, we inject viscoelastic and then we use a spatula to lift only one haptic of the ICL above the iris. We do not have to free the whole lens, we do not have to rotate the lens, we do not have to lift all four haptics. One haptic is enough and it can be done slowly and carefully with enough viscoelastic. Then we use the standard 3 mm tunnel a new tunnel which we normally use to implant an ICL and through this tunnel we can use a pinzetta of 20G or 23G uh, with a crocodile teeth and with this pinzetta we grasp the haptic at the neck of the haptic and we just pull slowly and continuously through the 3 millimeter tunnel the lens folds on itself and comes out in one piece. There's no need to insert other instruments into the eye. After the lens is fully explanted, we can implant the bigger lens in the normal routine in one procedure. The lens looks uh, very large compared to the limbus to limbus and we can carefully tuck the four haptics in the normal technique. In this case, we don't need to constrict the pupil afterwards. The lens has to be, of course, rotated as a toric lens to the pre-marked position, which was done without any specific problem. And after the end of the surgery and uh, removing the viscoelastic, we would expect a better vault. Actually, we did succeed in both eyes to get a much better volt. The left eye that was operated first had a volt of 350. The second eye, which was the right eye, reached a post one day volt of 710. And in fact, we were happy with solving the problem. Unfortunately, a new problem arised. Following the volts, we found out that the volts continue to decrease over one month. All volts were measured with the same machine in the same dim light. There was no rotation of the toric lens and no change in the crystalline lens rise. So we cannot explain this reduction in volt. The patient enjoyed very good uh, visus. The angle was the same and the volts as measured were close to the 100 micrometer border. If we follow the volts before and after the explantation, we can see that after the exchange, the volts reduce continuously over one month. We do not know the reason for that, and it was recently done, so further follow-up is needed. Thank you very much for your attention. The take-home message is that a very small white-to-white -white in myopic eyes is suspected 
if we have a too low volt, do not hesitate, it will not improve from itself and we should exchange the ICL as soon as possible to avoid cataract phacoemissification and high retinal detachment risk. Thank you very much.